This nine years old boy has straightforward posterior subcapsular cataract and planned for uh, cataract extraction and intraocular lens implantation of hydrophobic IOL. After the capsular staining with trip and blue, as you know, the anterior capsule of kids is usually very stretchable and elastic, so preferable to continue with the microincisional capsular access forceps to uh, customize the size of the capsular axis. Straightforward hydro dissection, hydro delineation, um, asking for the intraocular lens to be prepared and ready for the implantation as we plan not to do posterior axis as the child is nine years of age and, and can um, sit on the egg laser if needed. After cleaning of the posterior capsule and preparation of the IOL, injection of viscoelastic, then the IOL had penetrated the posterior capsule and had rent in the posterior capsule. Then starting to sink down in the vitreous with the PAL technique um, curved insulin needle helped to fish the IOL to support it from the pars plana side and to have the haptic with the hook and then um, having the haptic with, with the forceps, then assessing the situation, whether to put the IOL in the bag or in the sulcus or to exchange it. After doing vitrectomy to remove the vitreous and assessing the posterior capsule rupture, it was central, not extended to the periphery, and it looks like the posterior rectus, but not regular. So the plan is to put the IOL in the bag with the haptics in the bag, the trailing haptic first, and then the, um, the leading haptic first, and then the trailing haptic, then putting the IOL in the bag and taking a suture after um, centralization of the IOL in a position to be sure 100% it is in the uh, bag and safely secured. Taking the suture and leaving the visco to pressurize the eye and hydration of the wound. Next day, the child has a central IOL with the vision 1 and 0.75 astigmatism. Thank you so much.